time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, April 17th. A little wild price action today. S&P currently down five, NASDAQ down 120, Russell down three and a half, Dow up 92. Gold a little bit red, silver a little bit green, notes and bonds green, 10-year yield back down one and a half percent. Oil down three percent, natural gas down almost two. Uh, the grains are, or uh, soybeans a little bit green, wheat and corn red, euro and the pound green, Bitcoin down 2%, VIX down almost 4% now after that bounce, sitting at 17.72, back about where we started the day, peaked its head back above 19 again. Uh, I am a little bit green on the day to the tune on this account of about 1,400, mostly due to Early Rick, late Rick. I took a, a small discretionary one DTE, got stopped out of that. My two ret hedges are down. That was down a little bit. That one will expire most likely, fairly red. NDX is down. I haven't looked at it though. Maybe it might be making a comeback. Um, although NASDAQ is the weakest. And then in my challenge portfolio, just the Ricks. So 35% on early RIC, 45% on late RIC. And then I've I've had some price action trades today. One hit 20% stopped. One hit, or I had two hit 20 and 40% stop, and one had a full stop. So that is my day. Better than my Chad, day. What say you? Man, this is probably one of the most frustrating days I've had in recent memory. Just got stopped out of number one. And not only did I get stopped out, but the slippage was a dollar thirty. Um, so that was a so I started off today minus forty nine hundred. And then my number two went well, twenty, forty, sixty. And then got stopped on it finally. Uh, on this big push up, it just happened, uh, but it was only one contract. So that was a nice winner. And then my lunchtime number one, put it on and literally within a couple minutes was up like 10%, like fate of decay happened immediately. It was looking real good. And then th this whole trend up happened. And then I uh, went it finally pushed up and stopped me out, had more slippage. Um, and then my lunchtime number two hit 20% and then got stopped out on this big push up here 15 minutes ago. So I'm well, setting down about it, six grand. Down six? Yep. Well, I thought after that push up, down day was no longer in contention but now we're back into down day territory yeah i i, I don't know that i'm going to put on a trade here it, it one mentally i'm frustrated and two i mean it's just look at that i mean you're talking 20 point moves five minutes 10 minutes so my trunk one will fire in one minute as long as we're below 0.6 percent from the open we're currently at minus 0.74 All my profits from yesterday completely wiped.
So the four dollar strikes looks like the 50 45 calls and the 50 25 puts. Be firing here in about 15 seconds. Fifty forty five calls. Fifty twenty five puts. No, nope, still trying to. There we go. Fifty forty five calls. Fifty twenty five puts. Two to one calls to puts. Filled at ten seventy five. Back down below the expected move. So let's see where the sectors are now. Metals green, regional banks green, financials green, staples green, biotech green, healthcare a little bit red, retail a little bit red, energy red, real estate red, oil red, tech red, chips taking it the taking it the worst, SMH down two and a half percent. Biggest gainer on stocks, DJT, getting a little bounce back. Shopify up two, Lulu up two, Google up one. On the red side, ADSK down 5%, NVIDIA down three, AMD down four and a half. Uber down two and a half. I hadn't looked at Apple in a few days. I had, it had that two big up days. It's right back where it began. Boeing still on the struggle bus down to 169. Like Netflix has earnings coming up. 418. So tomorrow after the market. All right, well, let's see if uh, Mr. SPX got all that little dance and jiggle out of his system. It's going to settle in near the expected move today. That would be ideal. Uh, just like the test shows Dark Avenger, I just put them on, let them expire. Yesterday, I was almost at max profit, so I I did a little uh, adjustment to it to prevent the loss on the upside. But yeah, for the most part, I just let them ride. What's the uh, expected move again? What's the bottom? It's uh, 
about 50 35 okay that's a little under it So my one from yesterday, my rut hedge from uh, from yesterday, it's pretty much in the valley, I believe. Or this is the one from today. It's a little bit green. The one from yesterday is pretty red. Yeah, it's pretty much right at the peak. My NDX is way out of bounds. Yeah. Let's see. Where did it get up to on that bounce? NASDAQ didn't bounce near as much. Got up to 17, 620. Now it still wouldn't have been in range. So looks like NDX is going to be a dog today. Uh, yeah, my NDX so all time. Let's see, yeah, so it's actually a little bit red now, about 58, almost 59 percent win rate. That's also including when I first started doing SPX and kind of layering in, it also includes like the one on April 9th where it took 15 wide. And then when it dropped, I closed it early. It bounced back would have been a winner. So that was about a $4,000 swing on that one. Um, so that, yeah, I mean, that includes all my, all my mistakes as well, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty much a little bit red 58%. Partly my, my error, partly bot errors. Yep, no Uga on Wednesdays for me. Plus it's a down day, so I'll be doing down day pH. Got the money flies, got to be cheap. Yeah, trading about 50, 60 cents. Put on a 1 2 DT double calendar earlier. It's up about 3% currently. Yeah, I'm going to have to see a little bit of price consolidation here before I get in. Yeah, I haven't seen much of that in about. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, minutes, I could see 30 minutes. I could see this just going all the way back down the lows of day. I mean, it's just, I don't know. No rhyme or reason.
yeah, no Fed heads today. I mean, it just feels like it's all about the uh, Israel conflict, just kind of fears jumping in and out. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's odd. Meech, are you on here? I don't see him on here. So I um there's a, a group called Anderson Business Advisors and they do they do taxes, they do business planning, corporate structure, um the guy, the main guy, Toby Mathis, he, uh, he, he wrote a book about, it's called infinity investing. And anyway, some, some really good content. He's got some content on his YouTube channel about structuring your trading business and different things like that. Anyway, uh, Meech had suggested that I get him on the podcast and I just got confirmation on that. So I'll be interviewing him. So that'd be a good one coming up next week. Uh, quad 40. Did I, did my quad 40 not? Didn't fire. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's the same as Wuga Monday, Tuesday, Friday. VIX back up to 18.23. Well, that VIX is real jumpy, real jumpy these days. Tranche number two will come in in about seven minutes. Has not been any just, you know, up and back, you know, down and up in in tight ranges. It's all been long pushes or quick pushes. I mean, what a head fake that was. Yeah, I mean, I just I don't understand it. Look like we are ripping to highs of days and then boom, back down. Toronto one is up about 10%. I mean, I can definitely say I, in all my time of trading iron, zero DT iron condor since I started paper trading, I've never traded price action like this. I mean, I know the markets have done this before for sure. Yeah, you get in a situation like this whole Israel deal where there's just tension. That's, yeah, you, you see that a lot when, especially when the when VIX pops up real quick like that. The one thing I'm kind of learning is, you know, with the VIX being high, you get the wide spreads, but I almost got to be even more careful about my entries. You know, I, I never thought I'd have a 70 wide iron condor get stopped out so quick. Yeah. So, you know, really watching when you enter, I'm learning something you really got to, just because it's wider doesn't mean it's automatically going to be profitable. Right. Maybe. Yeah, I, I can't remember if we were talking about this during Power Hour or if you're on here, but it's it's kind of like 
that you know we want we want higher IV, mm-hmm. we want higher premiums, we want to get wider, but it's that it's that transition when imp- getting to that point, you know, when that when the on the upswing of the VIX, yeah, it can be a little sketchy. It's it's when it starts to all the fears start to dissipate and it just starts to kind of decline a little bit slower. That that's that's when the that's that's probably for me probably like zero DTE premium selling. That's probably the the easiest time to make money. But of course we never know when that's going to happen. I am green, Kelvin. Yes. Slightly green on price action trades. Hit both early Rick and late Rick in both accounts. And then, um, Lost on a small discretionary one DTE and then currently in down day power hour. Yeah, I don't like the overnight decline. We need to get rid of that. We need the we need the VIX pump overnight decline during the day, exactly. And just in the last 30 minutes here, we got a 25 point move up and a 30 point move down. All right, tranche two will be coming. Let's see. Tranche two. One minute. Like it'll be the 35 calls and 10 puts. Elliot, you back on the down day train? Are you going one to one? Atta boy. It's helping right now for tranche one. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty small. I'm just risking a couple thousand per tranche. All right, filled on the thirties and the tens for tranche two. I mean, I, I'd like to see it just bounce around in a 20-point range, you know? It's not like it has to be a 20-point range would be a tight range nowadays. So I'll be looking for 40% to reduce my stops on all three of these down day tranches. Tranche one's currently at 10%, tranche two at 7 
I don't know. I'm going to be, I, I've been meaning to dig more into that, Elliot. I'm going to probably do that this weekend. I don't, I don't like coming into power hour and being a little bit and just kind of switching my size around. I want to get back to having a uh, pretty solid plan as far as position size goes. Because usually if I make the decision, it's the wrong one. If I make the decision on the fly, that is. Bunch one up twenty four percent. Got built at 1075. So 40% would be 645. Little bounce. Trunch one's up thirty five percent. Need to just simmer down right here. I'm locking my forty percent. Ratchet down my stop, I should say. Uh, can I know I've seen that before, but I'm trying to remember this scenario. Did you just put in an order and it's saying that? Yeah, I don't remember what that is exactly. Notch one still hanging around 35%. I need a little bit more decay.
38%, get close. What were you trying to enter, Ken? Just a regular iron condor or a ratio or what was it? Hmm. Well, I need the price to hang up around 50, 30. It's just a little bit longer. Didn't quite get to my 40%. <clears throat> Chad, we got some consolidation. Three bars. Yeah, I see that. And I was just looking at entering and it's like uh, 10, 15 wide. Jump in. That's the water's warm. <laughs> I mean, I guess you got to be brave to jump in 10, 15 wide with this price movement. Oh, that's that's reassuring, Dan B. Didn't say it's a one time thing, but uh Oh Schwab's got their little paws all over this thing already. Hmm. I don't really like that. I would jump in if somebody if somebody can guarantee me it's not gonna move you crazy over stop the on tranche one. Sorry, Chad, what'd you say? Well, I mean, I would jump in if I could be guaranteed it's not gonna move more than about 10 points over the next 35 minutes. There are no guarantees in trading. <laughs> You want a guarantee? Go to the bank and buy a CD. Yeah, I should probably stay out then. <laughs> Trunch three fired. That is the 35 calls, 20 puts. Filled at eight. 20. I did those same strikes for power hour, the same shorts anyway. You just got in? Yep. I just did the 20s and 35s. 
<laughs> talked yourself into it? You did. Oh. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, so I didn't I didn't get home from baseball till late last night and then had to leave early this morning. So I didn't get down there to Put your blind back up. So I had my, my guy down there. I saw your, I just saw your picture. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'll go check it when I get home, make sure it's all good. But he, it's a, uh, it's actually one of my worst blind. It like all three of my three good ones are in Nebraska. So actually I'm going to take that down and, and put a better one up. Not, it's not the same one from last year. No. Gotcha. I would think, Sesha, that that would only be on an opening order that has to be reviewed, but who knows? All right, so here's my little profit bubble, really ideally right here between 25 and 30 is my sweet spot. At the money butterfly is still cheap. Still only trading for about 80 cents or less. No, DRB, I haven't been trading the, the uh, two fives on Wednesdays. Not really a fan of them. I, I think I'm just going to take them off my plan. Got a high win rate, but. All right, Trunch 2 up 28%. Tranche two, forty percent changed to three dollars. Use a little bit of up movement. I guess it didn't hear me. It's an up movement. Which two is currently at about twenty seven.
All right, there's your up move. I need yep. to back down now. Should be getting close to 20%, aren't you? Yeah, 40 cents. Tomorrow is Thursday. We've got unemployment claims and Philly Fed manufacturing pre market. And then we've got everybody's favorite a slew of FOMC speakers one at 8.05, one at 8.15, existing home sales at 9 a.m., Bostic at 10 a.m., and then Bostic, ooh, Bostic going double time, 4.45. Bowman's got a double, double, double as well. Due to deliver a pre-recorded opening remarks at the New York Fed Regional Community Banking Conference. And then due to participate in a virtual fireside chat at the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association. I wonder if you got paid like half price for doing the pre-recorded version. Yeah, well. This just looks like it wants to go to lows of day. Hope I'm wrong. <laughs> exactly. Pre-recorded message. It makes me nervous. Give me a lot of thought that goes into that. Ah, so close to hitting forty percent down here, and that bounced. I'm ten cents away. Come on and hit me. Dix dipping below eighteen. Here we go. Twenty percent. See now, aren't you glad I talked to you into that? Yes, I am. You must have some crazy positions going on, Ken. They don't, they, you confused them. They can't even figure out what you have on. My one two is up almost right around five percent.
Tranche two is up 22%. Tranche three is up 27 I need it right back down about four points. I'll be able to hit my 40% on both of those. Close to 40%. Now stop right there. Pause. There we go. So tranche two needs to go to $3 trail. Which three's at thirty three percent getting close. Tranche one and two have locked in a profit. Tranche three is getting close to being locked down. A little under 20 minutes to go. And it looks like it wants lows of day. It's kind of what I've been saying, but I don't know if it's going to hold off, maybe. VIX creeping back up.
Charge three at 38%, getting close. There it is. Reducing stop on tranche three. All right. Everything locked. Profits locked in, but still prefer some calm price action. There's my 40%. Thank you to that bounce. The yet the money butterfly is only trading for a dollar with 17 minutes to go. All right, calm down, little buddy. Stopped for a profit on, which one was that? Tranche two, stopped for a profit. Still got tranche one and three. Well, this power hour trade has definitely helped my red day. Still going to be red. Well, it's like that 20 to 30 range here in power hour. Yeah, just can just stay right there. If it does that, I'll just let my power hour expire. Yeah, between 25 and 35 is pin for me for my remaining two. And the new blind I'm going to put up just arrived at my doorstep.
There you go. Bump your head and come back down. That's far enough. Tranche three is trading at five bucks. My stops at six bucks. And it's getting stopped. It's far enough. Just a peaceful ending to the day. No, it's a six. Never mind. Close to getting stopped for profit on tranche three if it goes much higher. <clears throat> MOC number in two minutes. Giving it a push. Just trying to stop out my tranche three. Stopped on tranche three for, for profit. So just tranche one left. Anywhere between 25 and 45. I'm back down to 50, 30. And then I'd let mine expire. All right, listening for MOC number here in about 15 seconds. Eight sixty million sell side. And a boy. Now sit right there. That's far enough right there. Yep.
Need to hold above 25 for a pin. It can be anywhere between 20 and 35 for my pin. No Mahomes for me. It's just it's too cheap. I'm sure Madam Butterfly will scratch out a win, but still trading for a dollar sixty. We can get a tranche one pin. It'll be good for about 2200 Tranche three stopped out for plus 490 Tranche two for plus 340 Nice, Tom. Six minutes to go. That's far enough up. Five minutes. In five minutes time now, at the top of the hour, to the release of the US OZ net capital flows, with a five minus eight dollar billion. Big long term transactions. Beautiful. It's gonna me and Lesser's a ten point move, it's gonna Expire worthless. I stay above twenty five. At the money butterfly might be filled for two bucks with three minutes to go. Stay, freeze. Yep, stop.
Dip them below 25. Where's your short put? Are you at 25 too? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm at 20. Sorry. Oh, okay. Hanging on to the 25. We need a bell. We need an early bell. around 26 just over a minute Check your heart rate, Ken. Twenty six with twenty seconds. Uh oh, dipping below twenty five. Oh boy, get back up there. Nice job, yeah. Michael Todd. Get back up there. Just couldn't give me the pin. Yeah, I'm. Honestly, it's about 20. I'm good. This couldn't give me the pin. Settling at 22.18. So still good for about a little over 1,600. All right, my friends. Good day overall. Let's see. Uh, live stream tomorrow is Thursday. So Chad will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And we'll be back for power hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Cheers.